Hi folks, my name is Mickey and welcome to Cubis tutorial about macros. I'm going to show the on example of stand mixes which uh, the goal is to actually have these start at the same point and if I have a different parts here that they actually will be consolidated and I can use them to either transfer to other computer to other sequencer or if I had many, many different small parts that I edited to make one file and make my backup and archiving way easier. Uh, many times it happens when we actually save the project and it's created a bunch of bits and pieces we tend to actually lose during the archiving or during the actual backup or loading. Um, and then we actually have to scratch our heads and say, okay, what happened? So let's get going. I'm going to hit here, key commands and go down to the bottom and find the button that says show macros. I already have stem mixes here so I'm gonna delete that and show you how to create new one. So first thing you need to do is say new macro and name it and we're gonna call this one stem mixes obviously and uh, go search for the commands. Here's your add command button, but first you need to select which command comes first. So I'm going to show you how it's done and then I'm going to explain the logic and you'll see actually why. The first one we're looking for is select all. And here it is. You select that and you go to add command and that's that command. The next one would be and the transport locate selection. Locate selection. On this one exactly. Add that command. Then range tool. Range tool, there it is. Add command. The next one to follow would be again select all, which by the way the shortcut is is, uh, is Control A on the Windows and Command A on on Mac if you're using it. Um, any other way? Uh, select all. Here it is. Add command, and finally is bounce, which can be found under audio. Add command. So. Everything's there. So now we have created that macro. What we need to look for is actually where the macros are here available. All right. And stem mixes and add a shortcut key to that. So let's use Alt 5. There's nothing there. Okay, great. Assign. Next thing I do is store my presets, overwrite them. Okay. And this is it. So this is how it works. Let's say I only have, this is my project. My cursor is in the middle. Uh, locators are actually selecting only this part. And right from this point, I want to actually create the stem mixes for all the tracks. In regular way or in very slow fashion, I would have to go select all of this, press P, put the locators, go to audio, look for the bounce selection and bounce that right well what if I have 200 channels what am I gonna do do the same thing 200 times I guess I did it once before I learned this but this is how you do it remember we had a shortcut put to the macro stand mixes and I believe we put alt 5 Ta-da! this is what happens now it's asking me to replace events I can replace events and I get the same exact material, so to say remixed, bounced, but it starts exactly at the same time. So not necessarily they have to finish at the same time, but uh, this is how it is. It will waste a little bit of your hard drive space, right? Because if you had no material here, it doesn't matter, it's still calculated as a data but it will actually look nice and neat and it will be easy to find those files later on. Now when you're bouncing something 
you got to remember a few things. Number one, the file will be named by the name of the track. So be careful to actually keep your track's name. Don't keep the audio whatever or 103 because if you have a bunch of projects with audio 103, 7, 27, and they all sound the same, it can be easily overwritten when you start actually archiving things or looking for stuff. Next thing to know that bounce function actually does only remixes basically and exports only the file basically, only the material. It does not look to anything that we might have here as an insert or a sand effect or uh, disregards the bus basically, master bus. So it's only files. It's an advantage to that so you can actually keep your recordings as they are if they were dry recorded that you keep them dry you did some editing but then you keep them ready to actually be processed later on thanks for joining me in this tutorial of cubase 4 and i hope to see you soon again